Hi everyone, this is Julie with Bita Halik, and in this video I want to show you how to make six different pieces of jewelry using one strand of gemstone beads. So let's go ahead and look what I have here first, and then we're going to talk about what we're going to make. So on my table here, I have a couple different strands of gemstone beads. These are all by Dakota Stones, and they're very pretty. I have a little four millimeter size, I have a six, I have two that are eight millimeter, the amethyst and the lapis, and then I have a 10 millimeter amazonite. So you really have a big choice when you're choosing your gemstone beads in terms of the size and also the strand size too. So this is an eight inch strand. And then this here, you can see it almost looks like it's just an eight inch doubled, and it really is, it's a 16 inch strand. And this is the one I'm gonna to choose to use. I really like the faceted amethyst and it's a very pretty, pretty strand. So that's what I'm gonna choose, but I wanted to show you that you do have other choices in terms of size and different types of gemstones available. And you can check them out over at Beauty Hall Leak. So I'm gonna clear those away so that we don't have that distraction. And then in terms of the other supplies that we're gonna be using, I have a couple different pairs of pinch bales now these are really cool. We're gonna make them into earrings. So they're fun. I'll show you how to use them. So I've got two pairs of those. I have a whole assortment of a style of earring hook here. So this is a pretty classic little style of earring hook. And usually when you order it, you get quite a few pairs. You get 10 or 20, 25 pairs, depending on what you order. So that's another thing that I wanted to show you is by taking one strand of gemstone beads and then using some shared supplies, it's very economical. You really do save a lot of money. We're also gonna share our head pins between the different projects. I have a three inch ball head pin. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna use it yet, but I wanted to bring it over because I'm gonna be doing the designing here on camera. And then I also have this guy here, and this is a little uh, 21 gauge head pin, and you see it's just got a little flat head right there. And then I have two pre-made 18 inch chain necklaces they are gold plated. Now I really like for kind of quick and easy jewelry using a pre-made chain because it has the clasp already attached. So I don't have to buy jump rings. I don't have to buy a lobster clasp. It's all put together and you know it's really nice and secure. But I'm actually gonna be altering at least one of these and cutting it apart and using it almost like it was a um, cut to order chain that I put together but using the asset of it having that clasp already on there. So I've got two of those. So I've got two different 18 inch gold plated necklaces. And then I have some really basic supplies. The ones I tend to use for almost everything. I have wire looping pliers. You could use round nose. I have two pairs of chain nose and a simple little pair of cutters. So those are my supplies. I'm gonna tidy up my work surface here and then I'm gonna show you how to begin our projects. Okay, let's go ahead and begin by cutting our strand. So you see there's quite a few beads. There's about three beads per inch when you're dealing with the eight millimeter size. And I'm just gonna use my cutters to cut this. You could use scissors too, of course, if you have them. Okay, I just cut through that. And here come all the beads. So I'll put a few in front of me. And you see you do get quite a few beads here. So what I wanna start with are the pinch bail earrings. So the pinch bail earrings are fun and easy. So you have this little pinch bail right here. And what you do is you pull it apart. So just using your fingers, you pull it apart. You slip on your bead like so. And then you do the same to the other side and you pinch it together. And I find that you can sometimes even twist it a little just to make sure it's secure in there. So now we have that pretty amethyst bead secured in our bale. And we're gonna do that with the other one as well. So we're just gonna again, open it up. You look for the hole. You got the hole. You slide it onto one side, you go to the other side, and you pinch. And like I said, with the twisty ones, I find if I twist it a little bit, it really secures it in there nicely. All right, so now you've got your two dangles. 
and you could put a little glue on there if you want. I find that it actually holds really well, but if you wanted to slip a little bit of glue in there, you sure could. All right, now for the earring hook. So we've got our little hook right here and it has a little loop at the base. We're just going to take our chain nose pliers, open it up just by pulling it apart a little bit. And we're going to slide on the little loop on our pinch bail earring and close it on up. Let's do the same for the next one. And I really do like the idea of sharing supplies between projects so that we don't have to order multiple different types of earring hooks, multiple different head pins, eye pins. I like it that it really increases um, kind of like the value. You're really stretching the dollar. Okay, so we've got one pair done. Let's go ahead and make our second pair of the pinch bales. So again, you've just got that little, those little prongs right there. And we're going to just slip it in and pinch it together. Okay, I'm just giving it a good little pinch and you've got that now in there. And it's actually really pretty. It's reflecting the purple right there of the amethyst. And we're gonna pull that apart and we're gonna find the hole. These are so sparkly, it's actually a little hard for me to find the holes. Okay, and pinch. And again, I'm kind of pinching and twisting a little just to make sure it's nice and secure. And we're gonna add the earring hook the same way. Now you could, if you wanted to, you could add another bead right here. You can make a little link and add another bead. Totally doable and easy to do with the supplies you have. Don't forget, you could always change a head pin into an eye pin if you wanted to make a connector. It's very easy to do. There you go. All right, we've got two pairs now of pinch bail earrings that we've created using the amethyst beads and the pinch bales. Now we're gonna make a couple other pairs of earrings in a little bit of a different style, but using the same supplies. For the next style of earring, I'm actually designing these as I go. So I thought I would kind of play a little bit here on camera. So I really like the slight decoration of a ball head pin. So I'm going to place one single bead onto the ball head pin and slide it down. Now I'm gonna take my wire looping pliers. Now this is a three inch. You don't need a three inch. If you've got a two inch, it will be totally fine. I just wasn't sure exactly what I was gonna make. So I thought I'd add a little extra length. Okay, so I've got it in my pliers. I'm gonna squeeze it, bend it, rotate it up and around. So I've got that little loop right there. Now I'm gonna grab the loop with my pliers and I'm gonna twist my wire and make just a couple little loops like so. And then we're gonna go in there with our cutters and trim. And now you've got a little end poking out, so you do wanna go back with your pliers and squeeze, just so you tuck that little end in so it doesn't scratch or poke. You just wanna make sure it's not sticking out. Okay, so now I have a little dangle, and then I wanna make another one of those. I would not toss this piece, because you can always do something with it, like, like what we were talking about before, where you can make it into an eye pin, you can just take this end, curve it, notch it back, and you have an eye pin. So keep your scraps, you never know what you're gonna do with them. Let's go ahead and grab another ball head pin and another amethyst bead, and we're gonna pull it down to the base again. And now we're just gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna make a little loop using our wire looping pliers and we're gonna grab it and we're gonna twist, make a couple little wraps, trim our wire end, keep our scrap, and tuck our end. Just tuck it in there so it's just not gonna scratch. Okay, so now we've got two little dangles. Now these are the type of earrings that I remember when I was actually growing up that I was given by my grandmother because I am an amethyst girl. I was born in February, so this is my birthstone. And I received as a very special gift, a pair of amethyst earrings that looked much like this and I treasured them for a very long time. I think I still have them somewhere. Okay, so just slip it on. 
and close it. Okay, and there is another little style of earrings. So you can see like so. Now we've made three pairs of earrings and we're gonna try now to make a different style of earrings using our beads. For the next style, let's create a little dangle effect a little bit more. So let's go ahead and grab some of the flat head pins and we're gonna do the same thing to start, which is gonna put on a bead. And now we're gonna create a simple wire loop after it. So the difference between a simple wire loop and a wrapped wire loop is pretty straightforward. You just make the loop the same way. You crisscross it, but instead of doing wrappings, you just trim it where it crisscrosses. So we're just gonna go in there and trim. And we're gonna make two of those. And we're just gonna make another one. So wrapped wire loops are a little bit more, um, I guess you could call them decorative. And if you're dealing with something heavy, they are more secure. Or if you're dealing with a really thin gauge wire, these are 21 gauge wires, so they're pretty good. Okay, so now before we talked about how we made ourselves a little eye pin, I'm gonna go back and grab that. And I'm gonna trim off the curved part of it. That was just a little curved piece of my scrap. And now I'm gonna place another bead on here, like so. So I've got it on an eye pin now. And now I'm gonna create another little simple loop, just on the other side of it. And pull my pliers up and crisscross. And so we got that other loop there. Again, we're gonna take our cutters and I'll straighten up all these loops at the very end. So here's my scrap piece of wire from the last one kind of straighten it out a little bit if I can. And we're gonna go ahead and make ourselves another little loop. Notch it back so it's straight. So we have our little eye pin. I'm gonna just take off the little end here because I know I have plenty of wire to work with. Grab another bead and put it on like so. And now we're gonna create another loop up top of it. and crisscross. And then let's go ahead and grab our pliers, put that down. All right, so aesthetically, I was considering doing three. So we're, cause you're gonna see what we're gonna do. We're gonna pair these guys together and make like a little dangle chain. I am a little hesitant of the weight. Um, these are beautiful actual gemstones. I think it would be okay for most people, but I know some people are sensitive to the weight of the earrings. So I'm gonna keep it at two. For this particular design. So let's go ahead and look at our loop and just straighten it up a little bit. Look at these loops. This one I'm going to actually open and slip on this, oopsies, runaway bead. Slip on this other one and close it on up. And then I'm going to go to this one up here, figure out what side it opens on. Okay and I'm gonna open it, and I'm gonna slip on my earring hook. Again, we're using the same style of earring hook for all of these to just save a little bit of money and effort, get some good value. Okay, and there we've made now a little dangle earring. So it's a different style of earring. Let's go ahead and make its matched one. So this here, I'm just gonna straighten up. So that's a nice closed little loop right there. We're gonna go to one side of this one Open it up, slip it on, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna close that up, walk our way up to the other side of it, and open this one up, slip on another earring hook, and close it on up, and we have our earrings. So now we have a matched set of these cute little dangle earrings. And I, for me personally, I think I could do three. I don't think it would be too heavy. I just wanted to keep it a little bit more universal. So now we've got four different styles of earrings. We have two pinch bale and two kind of dangly fun ones using these round beads. And now we're gonna make the necklaces. For the necklaces, I pulled out a few more beads. Now this is really gonna be up to you how 
in depth you want these to be. I'm gonna go with a couple more simplistic looks, but you can definitely add more because you have so many beads available. If you look at all of this, there's a lot of beads left. So we've already done the four earring projects. Now we're gonna start on a necklace. So I'm gonna take one of my chains. So I've got this chain right here. And what I wanna do is I actually wanna cut it. I wanna cut it in half. So I've lined it up. So I see right here is the clasp. I flattened it out and I'm gonna find the midway point. And the midway point for me is gonna be right here. So I am just going to take my cutters and cut it. These are just chain links. So I just cut it. So now I have two halves secured by the chain clasp. So to make what I wanna do, I am going to take one of my nice long head pins with the ball. I am actually going to cut the ball off right up top. I am going to go down about half an inch to three quarters of an inch crimp it, put it over, rotate my pliers up. And now what I wanna do is I want to see if I can carefully slide on this chain link that is left here. So I did that and it just slipped on. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close this loop back up so it's nice and tight and I'm gonna just do a quick wrapping. And I'm not gonna do much. I don't want this to be a super complicated wrap. Okay, I just did a little wrap because I do know that I want this to be a very um, sturdy necklace. And in this case, I'm gonna be putting three gemstone beads on. So I wanted a wrapped loop, but it didn't need to be a, like a complicated fancy one. Okay, so I've got that. I'll go in with my pliers, squish down that end a little bit just so it doesn't scratch. Okay, and now I'm going to slip on three beads. You could do four, you could do one. One would look like this. You could do um, five, whatever you like. I think I'm gonna do three, I like the number three. So I've got three gemstone beads on there. Let me clear these aside. So I kind of can see what I'm doing a little bit better. Okay, now you're gonna finish off the necklace. So to finish off the necklace, you're gonna come in here, right where you exit the bead. Going to create, trying to actually have my loops go the same way. So I've got this loop facing here. Okay, I'm just gonna squeeze it, rotate it. You could be using round nose pliers as well. Now I wanna open up that a little bit slip on the last chain on this side. Okay, let that slip on, pinch that together, and then just do a quick wrap. Again, I'm not doing a bunch of wraps, just I want the security of it. Okay, I'm gonna trim, and this one is easier to squish in my tail. And we have finished a very pretty little gemstone necklace with a three bead focal. So that is the first necklace design that we're gonna make using these gemstone beads. All right, for the last design, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep the necklace intact. So I've got that chain already there. I'm not cutting it, but you could cut it. You can have fun and play. I'm gonna create some dangles. So I've actually created two already because I know this is kind of a longer video but I'll do one on camera here. So I'm taking my ball head pin again, and I'm putting the amethyst bead onto it. And I'm just gonna create a simple wire loop. You could do wrapped wire loops too. I feel like a simple is pretty good because it's just one bead and it's not that heavy, but you'll see what we're gonna do. Okay, so go ahead and do that. Where it crisscrosses, we'll cut. Okay, and then we're gonna straighten that guy up just to make sure he's a good solid loop. So I've got three little dangles. It's like I mentioned, I did two off camera. And I just wanna have these slip and slide on the chain so that when it hangs down on your neck or if you give it as a gift and it hangs down somebody's neck, these just fall to the center. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to open up a loop pretty wide. That's a pretty good width. 
and I am just going to put the entire chain through it. Now I'm going to close it up nice and tight and you see that this now moves. Okay, and now I'm going to do that with my other two. So they're going to be like fun little baubles. If you wanted to, you could add some charms, you could add a pendant, you could add a bunch of different things to this design so you have like a nice cluster focal at the base. Okay, so that's done up and we're gonna do one more the same way. You could even make exaggerated loops here where you make a bigger wrapped wire loop just so that it's a little bit more dramatic or you can make the regular size. All right, that is all we had to do for that necklace. So when you see when this is worn, it's like that. You got the three little baubles that are gonna hang. Here we go, there they are. So we did it. We made six different pieces of jewelry all out of one strand of gemstone beads. These are by Dakota Stones. So I'm just gonna pull forth some of our designs so we kind of remember what we did here. And we've got then this necklace as well. So we got a bar, like a gemstone bar design, and then we got the dangle design. And we have a couple pairs of these great pinch bail. Now note my supplies that I still have left over. I still have a ton of beads left over, a bunch of earring hooks, and they're off camera right now mostly, but I also have a ton of head pins. So you're gonna have a lot more supplies. You can make multiples of this earring. You can make multiples of this earring. You could do variations. You could add more baubles. You can make your bar longer. Lots of different things you could do. You could add another amethyst bead right here as a connector. So a ton of choices. You can make completely new projects all together. A lot of fun can be had with just one strand of gemstone beads. Thanks everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. We have a lot more over at beadaholic.com.